Hi right, guys, this is a tiny little video about the settings that you're going to need to look at when you're setting up uh, an individual show. There are a variety of uh, settings. All of them exist in the All Settings window. Some of them are ones which, or most of them are ones which are saved with the application. Things like device settings, uh, communication with the outside world, the way in which the application acts. But some things are definitely show specific, and here I'm going to look at uh, what they are. So first off uh, is the formats and sync. Very important for any digital system is the sample rate you're going to use and the frame rate you're going to employ. So here is where you set that one up. Um, the next thing we need to look at here is slot allocation. So slot allocation is about the mixer. So if I just cancel this out really quickly and pop in here, we've got a mix engine, which we'll look at we'll have a configure in other videos. But the mixer can handle playback tracks from Ovation and live inputs from the outside world. In the settings window, slots allocation refers to the amount of channels that I want to be set into replay. So the amount of channels I want available for Ovation internally to be able to play sounds out. Then every additional slot after that, or every additional mixer strip after that, will be set to input. So we'll be listening to the physical input that you've set into Ovation. So from microphones or uh, ASIO inputs from uh, other applications in the system, uh, things of that nature. But basically the dif dis decision of this number here is the amount of channels you want for Ovation replay only. So in this system I've set up 10. The last show specific setup, which again is, is very important, is the audition. So here I've got an audition uh, selection. So in our show, by default, uh, a queue will audition or PFL through the same outputs or through the same mixer strips that it would normally play through. So if I have it set to play through one and two, it, it will play uh, it'll audition through one and two as well. But I can also set up a specific audition bus. And if this is set, then regardless of where the queue is meant to play out, it will audition or PFL through the audition bus. And you can see here I've got this set up on uh, a stereo strip here, stereo strip nine. So audition output slot nine. Now this, is, this number is not a reference to the mixer strip. It's, instead, it's a reference to the physical channel number on the strip. So we can see channel 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because these are all mono channels, and then 9 and 10. Yeah. So if you've got stereo channels, you've got a count in, and there you go. So output slot 9, and click OK, and now I'm ready to audition on this slot only. So those are the settings that you need to look at when you're starting a specific show. Yeah. After that, uh, you can just get to get going and save and everything will be fine. Thank you very much.